everybody, welcome to our Warp World. Where are we at? Mark at the total 20... uh, 26. 26, 25, 26. 25, 26. I, I lost count. I we really have don't know made it to, uh, <laughs> we're successfully now into our second year, and I know our, our good guy, Caleb, right next to us is having a good time uh, looking <laughs> at that, aren't you? <laughs> good to have you. Again. All right, I'm Jim, that's Mark, <laughs> Kayla's here. We have a special guest today. We have Groupie and uh, special guest boyfriend Rich is over there. Yes, yeah. he is, along with Lindsay. So, Lindsay, say hi. Sorry. Hi, guys. <laughs> but what, Jim, so what's been going on the last couple of weeks with you? Anything big? What's been uh, going nothing on? Nothing big. Just, you know, um, uh, I, I got to go back up to Winslow. Love my road trips to Winslow. Winslow. Jim lives an exciting life. If you no, I love that. the road trip. Driving through Arizona is one of my favorite things to do, and um, especially when I get paid to do it. I, I got paid a good chunk of money to drive to Winslow. It was awesome. Kick ass. Except my phone. Uh, I had problems with my SIM card. My phone died um, halfway there, so that scared me. Uh, you know, just, uh, again, just working. And uh, wife's been gone for a couple of days, so I'm looking forward to spending some time with her when we get home. Oh, God. <laughs> I threw up in my mouth again. <laughs> Shut up. up. Yeah, where is our want, want, want? Yeah, blah, blah, blah. blah. Exactly. Um, I, I just started, and I'm only like maybe 10, no, probably about 15 or 20 modules into some new uh, notary stuff I'm doing with estate nice. with estate planning. Okay, good. So, yeah, so I'm looking at uh, that done in the future. And my favorite thing, of course, football is back. Football's back, man. So I didn't go last week, but I am going this week. I'm a, you guys, everybody knows here, I'm a, well, this is your 32 for the Arizona Cardinals. Yes, I've given them sh- a shit ton of, yeah, you can put the, uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I am going tomorrow. Got to get everything all squared away and go check everything out. So you guys need to check out Talking Cards with the <laughs> well, uh, no, coach let me, and Mark. Let me talk so. a little bit about the game. <laughs> um, we're not going to go into into it in depth, you know, because that's what the other show's for. But uh, what I, it's preseason. It's the first game. But I think they... They think they look okay. It's fun. Again, I don't. It, I, I don't put any merit in preseason football, so I really don't care. So it, it again, this is something to keep me busy and gets me out of the house, and I already prepaid for it. So All right. uh, we're thanks gonna go for, drink some beers, and we're gonna have that some fun. in-depth discussion. About yeah, there's football. really not. A, listen, if you want in-depth, you're gonna come and listen to our <laughs> other show and everything else. But me. I've been drinking, I've been smoking. And There's I'm absolutely great. no depth there yeah, exactly. at all. <laughs> Did you expect anything last year yeah. is what I want to know. Okay, so. What did you think about the first game? I was bored shitless. That took that was one of the longest games I've ever seen. Jesus, if you're a football fan, you want to listen to us, <laughs> yeah. don't you? That's, I'm, that's why I'm not on the other podcast. But that one, I walked away at some point in whatever, three and had things to do that needed to get done, so. Does Miss Lindsay like football? Of course. Well, kick it, see, exactly. You would watch it if it's on, right? Absolutely. I'm a reformed Seahawk, so oh, I'm, a party. I'm a party about, now. I forgot But I have to that. represent my Seahawks. Now, you guys got to understand, I've known Lindsay for a little while now, and I never liked her because she two was weeks. a Seahawk fan. Yeah, I'm not two weeks. I've known her exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but she has been a Seahawk. Oh, I forgot about the damn yeah. Seahawk fan. I was just happy that football was back. Right. I agree. So. There's no good-looking players, so. Are you kidding me? What are you me. expecting, Fabio? Yeah, I w- <laughs> you want Fabio? I've seen the, <laughs> the hair on some of those football players, and I still don't understand how they don't have to like pin that shit up. Wait, do you ever see when they get tackled by the dreads and everything else? It's kind of pretty cool. So yeah, but though you're just gonna rip out a chunk what of you, hair. Jim is, Jim is waving a fo- He's waving us off. Uh, he's waving right. a man he's in. Wave, he's waving a man in. <laughs> you know, keep it going. Keep it going. <laughs> Mark, what have you been up to? Listen, all I've been doing is teaching myself how to be the next Neil Peart on the drums, man. I've been freaking getting up there, and I'm trying to do. When are we getting our concert? I don't know. It's a little different because they're electric, so you can't really okay, hear them okay. unless they're plugged into something else. But So, again, I've got to talk about Albatross, our band, on November 18th for the holiday party this year. We have a band coming. Band. So, of course, you and uh, your uh, lovely boy are welcome, at, just Thank like you guys you. came lovely. last year. But we do have our um, uh, band coming again, Albatross. So I'd, I'd like to, I'm not going to be able to do it, but my goal is sometime over the next three years, I'd like to get on stage for one song and play the drums for somebody, some band. It's going to be our very own Tom Sweet. It, it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but my brother, you know, plays the harmonica. He's learning the dr- He's learning the guitar. So I, I don't know. Maybe it'll be a, like a Partridge family right. thing. And let, being let, let me address some things. First of all, this thing has plenty of places to plug your drums in. He's so. uh, actually, uh, he's pointing at his... Yeah. Audio system. It's, you know, <laughs> I'm, 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 pointing, my chest, I'm, I'm, I'm pointing at this board. Mark has plenty of places to plug drums, so he can't use that as an excuse. What was your other excuse? You, you weren't to... even listening, so 
<laughs> you can't talk shit if you weren't. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you, I mean, you got a note of this shit down. He no. wasn't even listening to himself. No. I, I mean, well, I'm like, if we could all, if right now I'd be like, okay, I got it. <laughs> I, got it. I want some sort of recital. You have a goal by the end of September. Hey, I can't with, with my classes that I was taking. It was actually, they were like, you could be in the recital. I'm like with the like seven and eight year olds. <laughs> you should have. <laughs> you couldn't even do the karate, the, the karate one. Well, you the you one kid the was kicking classes. my ass. The one kid, he's, he's before me when I go, would go in for my drum lesson. And the kid's in there I, because they have, you know, all the um, uh, TV monitors so you can watch what they're doing. And this kid's like, <laughs> and I'm like, motherfucker, you little shit. I'm like, I, I can't all I can imagine Little is, Johnny's pissing me off. It's all like I can it. imagine is Mark in like an oversized suit just walking <laughs> out onto a stage. I should be in like a Valerius Valerius. Oh, yeah, like, like the talking heads. Yeah, like yeah, the talking yeah, heads that'd be cool. Yeah. That's what I should, that'd be awesome. That'd be something cool. But really, that's all it's been in. And, you know, like I said, football season is starting, but I really haven't done much. It's been a quiet two weeks. Oh, no vacations, cool. no anything. Kayla? I had the Granger Smith concert, I think. I don't think that happened last Who's time we that? recorded. He is a country music artist that he, his son passed away. And what? What? Wow, what? this show what? really took okay. a turn. Yeah, no. <laughs> All right. That's fun. So sorry. never mind. Because you knew. Sorry, what, I'm sorry. What was your week? No, I'm sorry. No, Granger I'm done. Smith, so. I'm sorry. I feel bad. <laughs> no. Nope. All right. So what's next to talk about? Because. <laughs> No, I'm good. I went to All Granger right. Smith. It was his last uh-huh. concert. That's it. And that's the guy who um does the gee ye- clothing yeah. line and stuff like that. Oh, the gee? whole gee. Ye- My boyfriend's totally <laughs> about gee. <ye. laughs> Is he really? He does jujitsu. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's a totally so. different thing. <laughs> oh, it's totally different. Totally yeah. different. Yeah, it's yeah, a totally different clothing thing. line. It's, that it's he a does. clothing line and uh, right. Geese are from jujitsu, aren't no, they? This, no, no. Oh, not, okay. not a gee, a ye. Gee, gee. Y e. Oh, yeah. got it, got it. Wasn't that um, Kanye West line? No, no, that's Yeezys. Yes, Yeezys. That's yeah, that's right. Okay, I don't know. Oh these my god. Things. No, um, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, well, last time we were here, we talked about Eight Man Jam. The the things. I out. don't remember if it was announced, like fully announced. No, or no. Not, the last time, last time we were here, they were going to announce it, and they were announcing <laughs> one at a time. So now the whole lineup's been out. Any particular favorites you're looking forward to? Or um, I'm kind of excited to see Lee Bryce. So it's going to be Lee Bryce, Chris Young, Randy Hauser, Priscilla Block, and then like a bunch of people you just don't even really know. I've heard of Priscilla Block. Yeah, I mean those are like the main top ones that are coming, and then the other four kind of just like, man, eh, they're there to be there. So it was at the pool like I expected it to be. So that's going to be. But ultimately, <laughs> it a man jams at the pool like I expected it to be. But I'm kind of excited to see how that's going to go. But I'm also not because like eight man jams all about being acoustic and like in the moment kind of thing. And so if it's out at the pool, I think it's just going to take away from it a little bit. But and then it sucks because it's like on a Wednesday. So no one really can go. I work the next morning. So right. yeah. will the weather be cooler, though? When is it? It's September 20th. Oh, so really no guarantee on that at all. Yeah, it might be a little cooler, yeah. but not yeah. much. Hmm. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm still excited to see how well, it yeah, goes. Well, yeah, you do. This is your second year, right? Yeah. Yeah, that'll be kind of cool. So, that's kind of cool. cool. So, Lindsay, what have you been up to? Oh, are we going to talk about that in a little bit? No, no, no we are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we it. will be talking about <laughs> I mean, anything for the last have couple you, weeks. Have you gone to any concerts or anything? Go no, I do nothing. I'm a mom. I'm a mom. One week, and then the next week, I'm a single lady going to the karaoke bars, and then the next week, I'm a mom again. So. All right, there you go. <laughs> you guys will know, Lindsay actually has a very nice voice. She can sing. She's actually pretty good. I mean, it's, uh, yeah, it's very good. She Thank can you, sing. Thanks. Well, we're going to get Mark playing the drums. You can come up with a song. We'll have the whole band. Tom Sweet! <laughs> we're going to have, whole, gonna have, whole, <laughs> gonna gotcha. have the whole band. But <laughs> we do. We got cool. We're going to take a small little break now. When we come back, we are going to have a, we are very uh, happy to be having Lindsay on the show. She is a uh, OnlyFans brand new um, entertainer. She's going to go into everything with So I'm excited about that. I've known Lindsay for a while, so I'm very excited to have her on. So we're going to be back in a few minutes. Jim, you got anything down this with uh, our first segment, Jimbo? Uh, yeah, the fact that you say a few minutes every time we're always back about 20 seconds. Yeah, wait. <laughs> <laughs> back after the break. Hey, everybody. We are back at our war world, and I am proud to introduce a good friend of mine. Lindsay, Lindsay, it is so good to have you on. Thank you so much for coming and making the trip out here. But I, I like to have you uh, explain exactly what you do. So, and uh, what, how you got into it, and we're 
it's all yours now, kid. All right. Well, hi, I'm Lindsay, and um, essentially what I do is show my naked body for money <laughs> via the pictures applause? and Where's videos. The <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, we tried. But um, I, I'm an OnlyFans content creator is what the uh, I was professional wondering, I was wondering what the professional, the technical yes. name was. Content so let's creator. explain to the people, what is OnlyFans? What? OnlyFans is a, uh, it's like a website, essentially kind of the layout of a Facebook type of thing. You have your own page. You set up your own page for uh, providing and selling your content, quote, con- content. And... Um, yeah, so uh, other people uh, join OnlyFans. They can subscribe to your page, and then once they subscribe, they can purchase more content from you. What is a normal subscription? Normal, okay, so I did a lot of research before I opened my OnlyFans, and the normal amount that you would charge for a subscription is usually between 6 and $15. I'm sorry, 3 and $15. That's monthly, of monthly. course. That's monthly, 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 monthly. Okay. yep. I charge $6. Uh, I'm new. And so I thought I'd, you know, start low, work it on up, and, uh, <laughs> and more ways than one. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's uh, six dollars for my subscription. Once you subscribe, I upload uh, new content, you know, a little risque stuff every Monday, and then uh, I usually send out packages. They're called bundles. So send a picture bundle, or you send a uh, a video or a video bundle. And once you send those through the messages, you p- tag a price tag to it. And if they want to see that video or that bundle, they purchase that and then they get to see it. Okay. okay. And that's on top of the $6 That's a on month. top of the $6. Oh, yeah, okay. the $6 doesn't really get you much. Yeah, yeah. You know, and so <laughs> is there, do you have to actually uh, pay OnlyFans to be on there? How do, is it a monthly fee or is it just a... I do. I actually, um, any type of money that I bring in. So for subscriptions, for selling my content, videos, pictures, anything like that, I pay them 20%. Oh, wow. Okay. So that's, it's not like a little cheap thing. 20%. No, no, it's, it's it can definitely amount. add up if, yeah. Uh, yeah, if you start making really good money and everything else. And so I've known you a while. What made you decide OnlyFans? Why did, did you just wake up one morning and be like, hey, I'm going to try this? Or how did you know? I saw, actually, to be honest, I saw this woman who was 56 years old. There was a news story. I think it was on a, the New York Times or, or um, yeah, New York Times, I think it was. And it was a story about her being 56 years old, making an OnlyFans and making $600,000 within five months. Wow. And then from there, I went to her TikTok and saw her explain about how she created it. And, and she's a normal looking woman. She, she has a mom bod, kind of like I do. And she, um, you know, is a normal person. She looks like a school teacher. And it really... It, well, it everybody is, likes school teachers. It Come inspired me <laughs> because I, I've always been very insecure about my body, very insecure about the way I look. And, and if she could do it, I was like, I, can, I think I could do that too. And I think I could make money. And I can show my personality through my page. And, and you know, I've always had weirdos will say <laughs> follow me and, and get a hold of me uh, like years later after I meet them people that I don't know or, or I remember people from high school things like that and I was like you know what if, if I'm talking to these guys for free you know, I might as well I might get as well, that bag exactly I might as well monetize this we'll call it monetize and uh you know and yeah I, I figured you know I have to do something I'm, I'm 43 years old I'm trying to provide for me and my son who's nine years old and I just feel stagnant, you know? I, I do accounting and admin for a franchisee that owns, you know, uh, chain restaurants, but I'm really not where I want to be at this age. And I figured, you know, if I'm going to do it, let's do balls to the wall. I'm going to do all in. I'm going to give it all my all. I'm not going to be worried about what anyone thinks about it. I'm not going to worry about what people say or judge me on it. I'm just going to fucking own it. Nice. And and that's the, and so you've always been an outgoing, you know, outgoing girl that you just... There's really no other way. To, your personality always won the room over and everything else. So is it in some way making you more liberated? Is it making Hell you yes. feel differently? Is it – I mean I, I, I would say the attention is probably great. I mean everybody likes oh. attention and everything like that no matter if it's negative or good. But in, in one way, I think it's got to be – I don't know. I, I mean well, ex, I guess expand on that. I would, well, just to let you know, I, I don't discriminate. I like positive and negative attention. So. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Suck it to me. Um, but I mean, the attention is one thing. 
it comes with its positives and negatives. You know, there's more people that, that on I have a Facebook page promoting my OnlyFans, and, and people will message me or call me consistently. They call Just, you? I tell you what. Like, my second um, greatest, not genre, but the, the greatest uh, amount of people are from Nigeria. Uh, so the United okay. States is my number one. And, and you get these uh, statistics and stuff um, with your OnlyFans. They tell you everything. They tell right, you where people right. are from. They tell you how much money you're making. Well, how they much... should at 20%. They should right. do it. I got to be paying for something. Be doing a ton right, I'm not 20%. just renting a space over yeah. here. I'll charge like... you 10 for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm in. Right. Well, I mean, it's the same, it's same stats. I mean, we've, we've been downloaded in 27 countries, so I assume you're going to yeah, get Yeah, so exactly like that. So, ty- that type well, of thing. But you said call you. I mean, do they call you on they Messenger? They call me on Messenger, yeah. Oh, okay. okay, so on my Facebook page, when I first was opening the page, and I, I did a week-long promotion, so I would shoot off for the people that I knew or the, the Facebook friends that I had. I did a, a promo uh, like meme. And it was and very nicely done. I was the, one of the original scene and everything. Else. It was, you actually did it very nicely. I thought you. it was very good. So There was actually two, but... I got another follower! <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so I... Uh, I think I had 400 Facebook friends prior to saying something about OnlyFans. I make a post about OnlyFans. In the next four days, I acquired 5,100 wow. followers from there. And I didn't know how Facebook worked so well, I guess. I would keep accepting people as my friends. And, and once you get up to 2,500 friends, or maybe it's 5,000, 5,000, excuse me, um, they won't let you accept any more friends. But I didn't realize when There's people... There's a 5,000 friend cutoff on is, Facebook? There wow, is. But okay. when people ask to be your friend, you don't have to accept them. They're already following you. They're already listed as a follower. I don't know if people know this. Um, so I didn't have to accept their friendship oh, to okay. have them be a follower. So I oh, probably okay. have 2,500 friends. Well, so now you've then, got to promote your Facebook. Oh, it's uh, Lindsay... Only dash fans. There you go. So, we, of yeah, course, that you're here to promote. So you and know. We're, we're going to say that again at the end, just to make okay. sure everyone knows where to go. Because what I wanted to do is, so you're new at this. I uh, what are you, three months in? I think something. No, what are you man, in? I just had my month. Uh, one month. Yeah. 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 You got one month there. So, so what we want to do is we want to follow your career. Love it. Our goal is to kind of have you on quarterly. You give us an update where you're at, where you've had your, uh, how many downloads, what you're doing, everything like that. So that is what I want to do because I want to follow you and see if this really, I, I hope it takes off. That's a motivator I mean, for me, I, well, definitely. I, I, I hope it does and everything else. So now, now I got to start getting into nitty gritty questions we? here. I, well, I, of course I've got it. So what, what will you, where is your cutoff? What is your, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going there. I'm not going to do this. I got you. Okay. Oh. Well. I'll be a lady. I'll try yeah. to be a lady as I'll, I speak I about this. I don't want this. that on our show. Right, I'll, be, no. I'll be a dirty whore. But okay. So my brand, we'll call it my brand, um, is Playboy. There's a lot of girls that like to do hustler and swank. You know, show it all. Show the spready, the uh, anything. You know, toys. They'll present all that. I don't like that. I like to be the girl next door, kind of Playboy-esque. I'll show a little something, you know what I'm saying? But... <laughs> And also, there's a lot of content with my boyfriend. Uh, the way the content, if you have someone else uh, in your content, your videos, your pictures, somehow the AI or, or the algorithm recognizes that, and they make you tag that person. So whoever is in your videos, you have to have a release signed from them. They have to present their ID, and you know it's all legal that way. So I tag my boyfriend, or you know, or they tag whoever's in their their content, and uh, then you can upload it. Um, and but, how long? Um, are your videos that you sell? So, so let's see. So can you buy a thirty minute? Can you buy a three yeah. minute? Can you buy thirty I mean, minute? Jesus. Four, I, I, well, I was <laughs> going to say like, that lasts. I got, for the, I got oh, shit to do. Like, got, what are we doing over here? That lasts me for the year, for God's sake. Thirty. <laughs> Holly's upstairs going. Are you kidding me? What the hell is that? But, but I mean, but but what are your average length? What do they call? I mean, I don't want to be too invasive. So no, I'm going to be. Let's gotta, be so, invasive. You know, like, that's so why I'm that's here. Why that's why I'm here. I, I got to own it, right? So I will sell usually normally with like a photo bundle. I'll do a uh, topless. Topless is a lot of the photo bundles. Do about five pictures for $25 is usually my going rate. If I do a video, a video normally would consist of me and my boyfriend 
sex. So, now I'm going to ask solo. Is it mostly now you? Both and just of us. Your... It's either doggy style videos or blowjob videos are quite popular. You know what I'm saying? Are they really? Yeah. So how and, and how much are you technically getting for? So usually my videos are anywhere from 45 seconds to maybe two minutes, and I get about 25 dollars per video. No shit. Depending. And, and how then, many uh, of you? Can I... After OnlyFans gets their cut. You're, oh no, yeah, that's before. Yeah. So okay. I get twenty. Okay. I take home twenty. Okay, I'm charging twenty five. Gotcha. gotcha. Um, but I, last month, so I just had my thirty day, and my goal was to make over at least thousand dollars for the first month, which I did. I probably made about eleven hundred. Oh, how many have you sold? Well, I mean, I know it, we we could do the math. Obviously, I wish I would have brought my stats. But what is more? Wait, wait, wait. Our wait. videos. Okay. So. Well, how come everyone here you want their W twos and shit? I do. I have mother's. <laughs> I know the tax man is a listening. <laughs> right? No, no, <laughs> no, no, I'm no, just I, I, no, I get it because I, I like to know this too. The money aspect of it is is the money worth i don't i don't want to say worth it because you know any money's worth it oh i i I think for me definitely because it it is something that you it's a um, give and take so yeah my reputation quote reputation which what is that you know um maybe tarnished we'll say i don't think it is i don't think i mean but there's people that are judgmental Uh, because that was going to be one of my questions next and i'm glad so before what what have you noticed a change in some of your friends? Have you no, noticed a change in the coolest thing? The coolest thing I, I that actually made me realize about my friends and my my girlfriends. They're so supportive. They are not judgmental. And I thought I'd get so much backlash. I thought I'd have people talking smack to me and like unfriending me and girls from high school or girls that I, I worked with. No, they're intrigued by it. These women have been married for years. They've been with the same man for years. They don't have anything kind of exciting in their life a lot of the time. And so a lot of the time they're living vicariously through me. They hit me up and say, girl, how much you making? How's your OnlyFans going? Uh, you know, what kind of content are you doing? They are so inquisitive and, and curious about what I do. And I thought that was the coolest thing. I actually made a Facebook post about it saying, thank you, girls, so that, much. That is very cool. Though, it's the people, coolest. You know, to, to find an interest in. That's, that's why... I, I wanted to have have you on because I wanted to know, you know, obviously the money issue of I don't ask for your W twos like Mark, but yeah, you know, I do. <laughs> uh, but the whole process of it and everything, and it, and it is interesting that you know at at how do I word this at the age that you are because yeah, let's, let's be honest, a lot of a lot of OnlyFans is their twenties, you know, definitely, you know, so for someone, but uh, I, I want to a little bit right there, I want to say that what OnlyFans I think of has done. It gives an audience for no matter what you're attracted to. Well, that's the thing. Exactly. It's like So Pornhub, when you look at Pornhub or, or any other type of free content for porn websites, a lot of the time they're younger girls. And that's not everyone's fetish. That's not everyone's what they find yeah, the most and attractive. That's what I mean. You're, yeah, you're, that's, you, know, you didn't say, oh, I'm not 20. I'm not doing this. You just went ahead and went, went out and did it. And that's, I, think, I just think that's really cool. Thank you very much. Yeah. yeah. I, it, so... Going on that aspect that everybody has been acceptive and everything else, you have a child. Do what? What am I going to tell him? Well, I, I don't. It's none of my business if you don't want to really go there or anything. I don't oh, understand I'm, that. Hey, but but I, there's no boundaries here. You're, you're, I, I've met your child. He's a great kid. I, I'm, I, so where where does that go later if he starts because he's he's not young. So I mean, he's going to start maybe realizing or what's going on. Maybe he's nine, but also. The difference between our nine and their nine nowadays is oh, it's quite huge a difference. difference. Yeah, oh my god! I yeah, mean, he's already—he's been on the internet. He's seen things and and downloaded things that I wasn't familiar with until I got on his tablet or whatever. And you know, sadly, um, but I think he'll be more apt to accept it. You know, in a while, if uh, if it does come up. I'm only planning on doing this for a couple of years, and and that's at the very most if, it, but, if I can okay, make it happen. Okay, so what if? But the, I I want to say okay, but what if by that show, now you've got two hundred thousand followers, you're yeah. making freaking ten grand a month, you're doing how you wouldn't be able to give that up. You couldn't you 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 because you're gonna get used to a lifestyle. It's gonna happen. You're gonna get used to living a, a certain lifestyle, and you're gonna be like, I, I can't I can't stop this. I think that's where kind of the entrepreneurial mind comes in, and that's when you branch out. That's when you have. Uh, other girls that you take under your wing, you promote them on your site to get their to get their websites going and, and their pages, and that's my plan. That's it's, why we're here together. Exactly. To I mean, it's <laughs> it, and that's a th- actually a thing. It's called SFS, and it's share for share. So there's a lot of girls like on Facebook. I, I'm in Facebook OnlyFans groups and Snapchat things like that. They'll hit you up and say. 
ASFS. And I didn't know what it was for a while. I had to Google it, you know, I'm new to all this stuff, but it's a share for a share. So you, what I do is I, I'll usually make a little pizzap meme of my picture. Wait, what and the my, hell is a pizzap? It's, oh, like it's like an editing, it's like an is editing program. Okay. So, okay. I don't know what a, I'm 53 for God's sake. I yeah. don't know what a pizzap is. Out of the okay. loop. <laughs> Damn old people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, I would, I'll make a little, kind of like a meme with my, uh, my screen name and my picture. And I also have a menu. So with the menu, it shows exactly what your pricing is and what you're willing to do. It's just a do. little drop down. It's, and a, it's actually, it's like a meme too. It says videos anywhere from five to $25. Uh, personal, personalized videos. You know, uh, I was going to ask, do you get weird requests? Yeah. I was just going to go there. Where, what is the weirdest? Yeah. The weirdest well, I, I got to ask. My, my inquiring mind's got to know I'm inquisitive. I just, I got to know these guys. I things. think one of the weirdest ones was, um, there was a gentleman, this is, uh, so I had my OnlyFans up. He was not a subscriber. He messaged me on Facebook uh, Messenger because he was on my Facebook OnlyFans site. And he had asked if I am willing to suck my boyfriend's dick while I tell him <laughs> – well, uh, it'd be pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that would well, work. Well, I tell him <laughs> that <laughs> how much I want to marry him and uh, how much I want to be with him. And I don't know. I guess that's not it's so weird. But the fact that he wanted me to suck someone else's dick and, and, and tell, tell him, him how, how much okay. I wanted to marry him, which was always really weird to me. And then, you know, you get these weirdos that are, uh, no offense, um, that. No, she, look, <laughs> no she looks right at you. No. I was like, ah! <laughs> No offense. Those are my Jim. customers. God damn it. She, she must have listened to the show before. <laughs> no offense, Jim. <laughs> but, you know, they're, they're like, I'm falling for you or oh, uh, I, I want to be with you. When can I come and visit you in Arizona? And, and you don't have more than two line sentences with these guys saying, hey, you want to buy my content? Like, there's nothing <laughs> personalized with it, but they, they feel like you are their girl. And a lot of the times I think that's what it is. They, they either like to have the blowjob stuff and another guy involved, or they really don't. There's no half and half usually. So if I think most of the time they don't want a guy in the content because they want to pick, they want to pretend right. they're the guy. With oh, you. of course. I, you know, and, uh, I mean, I heard, right. I mean, if- <laughs> <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I, I mean, I haven't had too many, Weirdos, or at least I can't. <laughs> at least I can't think of it right now. Um, well, it's got to help to have your boyfriend too, I, and and I, I think that he's going to act a little bit of the protector, which I, I would think. I mean, not that you can't handle yourself or anything like he that. He tells me what to can. say. Well, it, well <laughs> if I'm stunned, I'm like, babe, like, look. The he's director. Like, no, say this. <laughs> well, again, you need. To he's talk. a puppet if, master. <laughs> if you're going, oh, 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 is he holding cue cards off camera? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But so, do you, are you re- so ninety nine percent of the guy they're guys, right? You probably have one yes. percent that are women. The only the only people that are women, I put a post on my Facebook saying, "Hey, it's not weird if you guys want to see what it's like, and it's not not it's, it's not odd or creepy if you join my fa- my uh, OnlyFans, so you can see exactly what it's like to see what I what kind of content I put on. If you want to do it with your husband." You know, I have a lot of swinger friends. Um, if you guys want to join there, it's not weird, you know. And so I did. I had like two of my girlfriends from high school uh, that joined. And I thought that was the coolest thing. Like, that's so flattering to me. Yeah, and it's so I, flattering well, to me that people want to pay me to see my saggy boobs. <laughs> <laughs> my mom boobs and my big belly and my cottage cheese ass. They're paying me for it. And it gives you the most... Listen, your, yourself your pictures are done very nicely on Facebook. I think they're Thank done... You. I think they're done nice. Thank I mean, I, I really do think they're uh, they're not in any way. I mean, some of the pictures sometimes you see of people, you're like, oh dear God, your friend should tell you not to wear that. I mean, <laughs> I, I, I mean, that's really what you're thinking. And I mean, yours are done very in a in a pretty much discreet way. And there are some of the pictures where where you don't make any bones about it. You say you're seeing my cellulite. You're seeing, and you point it out in your yes. pictures. Look, this is. And I think that's refreshing in some sense. And I don't know if a lot I, – I have never been on OnlyFans. I can honestly say like, I better get a pre for free subscription. Oh, I mean <laughs> – Free subscriptions all around. Uh, yeah. Millennial, <laughs> I got Thank you. you. Thank you, everybody. Good night. I got you. your mom too, girl. 
<laughs> but there's got to, I mean, it, it, it's got to be a little bit of a, I don't know how I was saying, Jim. Do, do you kind of know? I, <laughs> it's the it's the upfrontness of it. It's not, you know, I'm going to. No, you have to own it. You yeah. have to just be out and about. That's that's the one thing that I thought about is when I started this, I'm like, I, if I'm going to do this, dude, I got to do it. I'm going to, I'm going to create a Facebook page, which I had two because I would get in Facebook jail sometimes. So <laughs> I had one that I'd switch <laughs> off of anyway. So I, I'd, uh, you know, I'm going to transform this into my OnlyFans. I'm going to not be shy about it. I'm not going to have insecurities about it. I'm going to post pics of my butt and be like, if you don't like it, don't, don't, look. don't you look. still pay right. for it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. No, this is part of the five dollar picture package. No, it's not even. The, no, it's the freebies. Those are the freebies. Well, I, 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 Join my Facebook. I think page. what Mark was trying to say. Correct me if I'm wrong, but is it's the realness of it. You're yeah. Just a, yeah, you're a real person. You're not some. That's what the I think that's what everybody likes about it. Yeah, and I think I think that's the allure. Allure. Of, exactly. uh, the allure of of OnlyFans because again. Some people might be emb- – remember, it, it used to be, oh, no, I'm attracted to that uh, blonde-haired, blue, 2436, whatever. It just looks right. But you really maybe in your head weren't attracted to that. But you're saying that because now it's to a day where you can say, no, I, I like that. I, really? I, 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 yeah, well, people I, I are li- so numb to that. People are so numb to that beautiful, perfect body – 20, you know, 36, 24, 36 type of lady from free porn hub or whatnot. It's very simple to get that. But what they get with OnlyFans, I think, is the difference is it's a real person. You can it's have, relatable. It's relatable. You can have a conversation with them. Yeah. Like people message me, I message them back. You know, they I'm a tangible person. And then that from there, that's where I think their fantasy will bra- branch out and it's more of a reality for them, I think. And it's the parasocialness of it is that they feel like because they talk to you, you are friends with them now. Exactly. You so have then, a rapport with them. Yeah. It's the uh, they have more of a bond, I think, than right. just watching well, the, these guys that, that wouldn't have a chance with Barbie. Exactly. You know, here's a real person who's talking to me, who's not plastic this and, and, you know, liposuction that you're just a real person. I think that would be the allure for a lot of guys out there. Yeah, and that's what I like about it, actually. Okay, so we, we've talked about the positives. Okay. I, I want to talk about the negatives. Okay. What, what drawbacks? Obviously, we're going to know the weirdos. Okay, so let's, let's, let's not even start with that. We'll, we will, but money, it's got to be 20%. That's a big cut. I mean, that, that's a, that, you got to. I don't even think about that. Not, okay. It doesn't so, even, because what I, what I really pay attention to, yes, I, I look at my total gross amount, but what I'm cashing out, so how the cash out works. So, um, you have your little bank that goes on. You ha- it has to be in your bank for eight days. And then once it's in there for eight days, you can cash it out. You have to do $20 minimum and cash it out. Um, but I really don't, there's only a few, like, st- I, I do go through my, my statistics a lot. And I, I yeah, that, you know. I, I do that with our show. Yeah, too. I, I know, <laughs> right? Because Every like, couple hours. Number of people, you guys will get along <laughs> like that. But okay, so money's okay. What other drawbacks that have you, or you might foresee coming? Let's oh, foresee say, coming, okay. Yeah, let's have foresee coming. I'm worried about my job. I work for a franchisee, uh, a, you know, for a well-known... And I'm going to interrupt here because yeah. you're very wide open here. So your job probably... Are you? They're not listening. Are you? Tr- Come on. Well, they're Come definitely, on. definitely not to our world. World, they're not listening to. I know that. Let's start to loot ourselves. Exactly. I've got a list of twelve people. Let me know if you're on it. Yeah, but check so, the stats, sweetie. But, but I just want to go back to that. So because you're not hiding anything. So your job. I, I, that's what I'm saying. Yes. So, okay. You're so not my job. Hiding so yeah, I, I work for a, a, fran- a fast food franchisee, and. Um, uh, well-known restaurant franchisee. He owns both. So I'm afraid. And, and there are some of the employees that know, you know, um, what I work for. And my boss is in Texas. So she's really kind of removed. I have all my coworkers blocked from my Facebook and my Instagram. Smart. So, yeah, you know, my Snapchat. Smart, yeah. So just as I do my son or my mother or my nephew, you know, I have all those people blocked. I don't want them to see anything weird. Um, but that is something I, I worry about. But there's also a positive to that. If I, if I did get fired or something for, for anything that they see, um, I can put more time into this. And it, that's the thing. Time is the, what's going to make you successful and not successful. The amount of time that you promote, where you promote, um, what type of content you're promoting. Um, the biggest thing when I, when I was first researching everything, I was told that Reddit and Twitter were the number two things that you'd want to post to get the most subscribers. 
for me, that's not it. Like fi- Facebook is my number one. Snapchat is my number two. I've got a few people from Twitter, um, but Reddit. X now that's it's X. I mean, it's a Twitter. Well, yeah, Twitter, uh, excuse, yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, excuse me. I know. I know. But <laughs> have you tried? Threads? Thanks for correcting us. No, I mean, I just want. We just want to correct. But <laughs> Fet Life. There's a fetish, uh, like a one night stand type of uh, website that's very popular that I've heard in the uh, swingers groups. Um, that's something that people post on, but that's not my, um, are you afraid of some weirdo? Yes, I am. I, I don't think about it as much as I should. And I should, I should protect myself a lot more than I do. I think I allow personal information to be out a lot more than I should. My boyfriend calls me on it. Um, that's why I like having him in my corner. You know, he's, he's my partner. I call my business partner because he, he helps me. He, he guides me. He tells me, he thinks from a male point of view too. You know, he can tell me if something's way out there, like, don't do that. What, why are you saying this to this guy? He's going to think this, if you say it this way, you know, cause I'm overly friendly. I'll, even when I didn't have this weirdo or weirdo, sorry, excuse me, a uh, gentleman <laughs> would, uh, <laughs> would hit me up out of nowhere on messenger. And I'm so friendly. I would just chat with him. you know? Oh, oh that's nice. Thank you. Da, da, da. And that's not really what you want to do, you know. I, I'm now I've learned to be more to the point. Yeah, make it's all business. <laughs> you have a question, Kayla? <laughs> I kind of do because I was going to ask something like that. When it comes to like security, are you doing anything to like hide certain things that someone wouldn't just show up out of the blue and be like, "We're married and you are coming with me," kind of thing? Because that's what I always. Well, we're going to put myself on blast right now. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm ready for it, girl. <laughs> Let's do it. Not that I wanted to do an OnlyFans, but I don't know if you know my cousin Jamie. She did like Foot Finder for like yeah. a week. Those are popular. And Jeez. at this point, your girl is just, we need money. We, yeah. <laughs> we're trying to make that bag. So at some point I had thought about it, but I'm like, I'm so scared of, is this going to happen? Like, is this person going to randomly show up and attack me? Like... All that kind of stuff. So just wondering, has that ever been? It's never been an issue so far. Um, like I said, there has been a couple people that, that kind of act like I'm their girlfriend. And I, I'm blown away by the way they. So, okay, I'm going to interject here. Weird. Your, your, your boyfriend <laughs> is in the room. Imagine that. And, and I'm not putting you on the spot. But I, I just want to know how, how is his reaction to. I want because I, I just I, I it's a it's a different take. I mean it, it's a it's a very different. Do you want take. me to come and talk to us? Well, wait, wait, I, Rich, are you willing to come on? All yeah. right, all right, well, wait. All right, hold hold up a second. Hold up, hey everyone, let's take a little break. We're gonna come back. Rich is gonna join us, and we're gonna talk a little bit more about this. Yeah, we'll be right back. All right. all right, hey, we're back from break. Um, Rich has joined us here. This is uh, Lindsay's boyfriend, and we're going to uh, ask him some questions. How you doing, Rich? How you doing? How you doing? I'm uh, doing well, doing well. So we were, out, we were outside talking. You are talking about some of the security measures you take as far as geo-blocking, I think you call it. Geolocation. You? Geolocation. Yeah, can you go into that a little bit? Okay, so let's say uh, Lindsay here has all her um, work people, all that stuff. She doesn't want anyone to see that, okay? So she geolocks um, Arizona. No one from Arizona will ever see her content, ever. This oh, whole so, state. so Mark's promo code free content. He can't see it. <laughs> no. Damn it. <laughs> you guys can leave now. The interview's over. He went to California for the weekend. <laughs> We're done. We're done. <laughs> and the same thing she brought up about the foot pics thing, mm-hmm. where she was wondering if people would show up at your house randomly. You got to take, you got to turn your GPS off. When you hit your picture right now, Okay. It puts exfil data. It gives you your Latin long on the planet, wherever the picture is taken from. So you oh. got to take your GPS off to take pictures. Latitude and longitude. Yes. yes. Long. Exactly. Okay. So yeah, it'll give you your exact location. Exactly. That's wow. That's yep. I never knew that. No, I didn't know that either. That's yeah. Huh. I didn't know it either. So is this stuff that? <laughs> okay. So I, I'm gonna ask. Who's was this a decision you guys made as a couple, or yeah. was this a decision that? It was a couple, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. When I wanted to do it, I d- had the idea. I said, "Hey, look, babe, look, look at this article. Look how much money she made. Look at this TikTok. I think I can do it. I think I can. What? How would you feel about that?" And he was like, to- "Get it done, girl." Yeah, <laughs> he's like, "Get that money." Uh, <laughs> these guys can look at the menu, but own the menu. <laughs> Put them up there. Put those no, titties up there. They love them. And you know, I, I. I would never do it without, you know, his blessing or whatever. Uh, it's also good to have him in my corner because he does tell me when, uh, you know, he gives me the um, the point of view of a man. 
Me, so yeah, exactly. if I say a certain thing or if I'm chatting with someone and I say something a certain way or if, or he can tell me if it could be misconstrued a different way and than I intended. And you're absolutely right because guys think a little differently and sometimes guys can manipulate women and or say stuff and, and, and we know – Kind of like yes. girls will come to us and Holly, my wife, we, we use Holly all the time. She'll come down and she'll be like, oh, this guy. I'm like, yeah, she, he wants to fuck you. <laughs> and, and, and I mean, and she's like, she, she does not. And SFS. I'm like, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, so I, I understand. And so it's got to be a totally different dynamic. I'm just saying with my wife as a nurse, I'm t- you're talking about your girlfriend as, a, as an OnlyFans. So the, it, it, it's got to be a huge. He's also a part of the content, though. I mean, he's he's in it. So they all know everybody okay. that is subscribers. They know that he, I have a boyfriend, and he's, you know, they don't know automatically, but a lot of the time they'll say, "Is that your boyfriend?" I would hope they figure okay, it so out. Okay, so I'm going to ask. <laughs> well, a lot of okay, that's another thing. Go ahead. Mark. I'm going to ask more of a business question. Then, do you guys set up your business where it just goes into one account? Is it an LLC? Is it, uh, is it just your money's going into? He's never asked for one penny. It? He's never asked for one penny. Okay. And I've never given no, him no, one I, penny. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't I plan don't on giving plan it. it. I don't plan He's it a consultant that uh, pro bono. <laughs> so God <laughs> forbid. God, God, God <laughs> forbid you guys break oh, up. Gr- no, wait a t- second. T- I'm t- asking there. a serious question. God forbid you guys break up. I don't want. I don't want that. To, but if you break up and he's still making money off of his content with you. Hey, we okay. We actually had the scenario. We did break up for a week or two or whatever, um, and. Me being me, all meh. I was like, no, okay, last last week of content with the War Wagon. The War Wagon is his name. <laughs> that's his that's his only fan's that name. That is your nickname, the War, War Wagon. Wagon. <laughs> <laughs> and so the I, pussy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I yeah, I was I used it as a promotion. This last week of oh, five days till the war wagon and, and my content is off. Last boy girl content and you know we got back together. I was like, oh, War Wagon's back. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome this guy back. We were just messing with you. Eh? You know what? We were trying to do like a, like a, like a soap opera. And Going at a business up. sale. He didn't, <laughs> add, he didn't ask me to do that. And even after we got back together, I said, you know, I did this and this. And he said, why do that? Just you, Of course you can keep it on there. He's always been really cool about that. Um, so he's never asked for a dime. He's never expected a, a, you know, money so from it. So are you guys swingers? I, no. Okay. Now, and has, I'm only asking that because you said that you had swinger friends. Well, he that swung are so... in the he swung <laughs> in the I... past <laughs> with his ex girlfriends. Me what myself, I'm not a swinger. a swinger. I have <laughs> a lot of swinger friends. I've been in swingers groups. I have a lot of swinger friends. You know, I'm if I was going to do anything, I'm a watcher. You know what I'm saying? But okay, I have that, one question please. for that, and I swear to God, if you interrupt me, I will end your life <laughs> on this podcast. Cut his mic. Cut Is his mic, the my loofah dear. thing an actual thing? Is what? Is the loofah thing an actual thing in the swinger community? Do tell. You're supposed to like have different colored loofahs that you leave around the house. Oh. No. Okay. Pineapples. Pineapples are a thing. Pineapples are we learned the hard way about that one because my cousin and I had a joke about pineapples and then that came out and then we had to get rid of everything we owned. Oh, yeah. Right? <laughs> I had <laughs> never heard of that before. That's a single Funny. Oh, a wow. Pineapple Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> of course you do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You had pineapple. Your country whole country under camp was pineapple. <laughs> yeah. Holy yeah. shit. You had pineapples <laughs> everywhere. He's like, why are these couples trying to ha- hang out with me all night? <laughs> yeah. If not only my cousin and I, everyone thinks we're dating or like it, one of your friends hopefully if they listen we already talked about it one of your th- friends thought we were dating they did and she's like where's your oh, girlfriend wow. i was like that's my cousin and we aren't in alabama friend <laughs> so but no there's been a discussion about this loofah thing so i'm gonna put it to rest and be the smart cookie in our group chat. That's funny. <laughs> i'm gonna make it a thing now so rich you it, are you on board with her about wanting to take it to where you guys are only doing it for a couple of years and then you got eight or nine girls underneath you? No pun intended there. <laughs> <laughs> he really wants to take it there. I mean, you know then you, then you know it's going to be successful. You know that's going to work really well. But are you on board with, like, I mean, you guys have to start, like, maybe talking about business now and, and where it's going to go and what it might do and everything. And we hope our work world is along for the ride. <laughs> of course. Well, well oh, but ahead. seriously, go right? ahead, babe. Well, yes, I'm talking about, well, I was talking to her about scaling, like getting girls under us and making percentages of, we do their, all their content for them. Let's say 10%, I don't know, a whole month. They haven't do anything. They would show up for us to do, let's say photo shows. We'll schedule everything for them. 
and we'd manage girls under us. From the, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Okay. Um, from the beginning, that's what we talked about. We all we had a business plan before we even opened it. Wow. Um, okay, so can I ask how this is? And I'm just being honest here. How is this different from a madam with a brothel? Uh, because I, I don't see the L. I don't see the no, 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 no. See, okay, so, seriously. So a madam with a brothel, she makes her twenty percent. The girl she runs out. You only fans. You're going to get girls underneath you. Again, no pun intended. Do you understand where I'm going with it? Really? Well, it's like a, it's more I'm of going? a pyramid, I think. Pyramid scheme. <laughs> it's, you know? an it's an Amway. It's an Amway. Right, right. No, right, no, right. no, we're I selling don't Amway. Mark, did you really ask that <laughs> question? <laughs> Oh, it's just, time to I'm hit the edit button. No. Uh, we have a technical difficulty. Yeah. Today. Okay, <laughs> so correct me if I'm wrong. I'm going to take a shot at this. The girl comes to you and says, "Hey, can you help me create my page? I want to do this. I want to do. Yes. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. Correct. You guys are going to help her create her content and, for a fee. And, I already have. I, okay. okay. I, so okay. the the reason we thought about that is that first of all, when I when I created this, I wanted to create it. My goal was to promote other women and to that was the from the get-go. Was... You just recently had a girl on your Facebook page, did you not? Yeah. Yeah, that's, okay. yeah, my, my friend Amy. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, she, we did it on Snapchat, on Instagram, and on Facebook. Okay. That was the SFS that I'm talking about, share for share. Um, but what I thought of, I wanted to promote girls, We and it would be more like a... Um, uh, like a comedy troupe, T R O U P E, comedy troupe where different comedians come together, they're a group, and then you promote each other, you do things together. And uh, to build on that, what I wanted to do is more of a variety show, like a 70s variety show. So not only would I do pictures and, and videos, but I would do little comedy sketches. Awesome. Okay. One comedy see. sketch. Uh, no, and awesome. that's the thing with Rich is that Rich is, we're always on the same page when it comes to business, with comedy stuff. Like we play off each other. I've never met anyone in my life that can just gets me and can know exactly where I'm going with something. We had one idea for the, the naked comedian where, you know, it's the most horrible, it's someone doing stand-up, most horrible jokes you can think of, but the crowd is going wild because they're all men. You're topless. I'm topless, obviously. So doing these horrible not jokes, right now. the, the, the right audience now. is She's going crazy. Dressed. Well, not, not, By the way. The know. night is young. <laughs> the night is young. Give me another shot, too. Uh, but, uh, but that you know, that's another thing. We had uh, other skits or so, but, uh, you know, I wanted to do something different. Branch out, at least take a chance, you know, to try to. It's very hard nowadays to do something different that's than what, what everybody said. else is doing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was just going to say that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I wanted to do that. And, and then now it's kind of molded more into uh, consulting, like a consulting business. I've had three girls already that I'm going to, for free, I'm going to teach them how to, to open their OnlyFans and how to, uh, you know, promote it and how, what you want to do. We should bring them on too. Is what we should. Do. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's. It's not getting crazy. So, is there? Are is the majority of your content together? Mm, not the majority. No. I think probably 40, 60. Yeah, 40, 60. 40, 40, 40 is us, and then sixty is you know just me. And what's the better seller? I think just for. The higher seller, the higher price seller for the amount of work I have to do, work being the operative word. Um, yeah, I wish, exactly. I <laughs> the wish job I, work, I have to do. I wish say. I could work that much. The job. Holly um, is like you're going to go unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'd say uh, I get more people buying my pictures and things like that, and and I do do special requests. Uh, people that want to have specific videos say you say specific things in videos do specific things, but I mean that's it's pricey. Right. <laughs> so. well, like, it should be stub I mean, your I, toe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like stub your toe at, at fifty bucks. But but I, so where do you want it? I I I guess how do I uh, just say wait, it. Wait, 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 are you talking <laughs> about say end, it, end game? Their end games. They're going to be sitting on a beach somewhere on their own island while these other yeah, girls are doing I, their I stuff. So <laughs> my goal is still months. doing this podcast. All right, so, okay, if I'm going to go uh, one more step, will you invite somebody else? No. That's, that's no. off the table? Yeah. That's there, Yeah, like, uh, okay, so a lot of guys will hit me up and go, hey, you need someone for content? You need well, me. that's just, yeah. Yeah, that's... but I mean, the the hubris of some men <laughs> think that <laughs> I don't know you. I don't know your name. I don't... But just, I, come I'm gonna, just come on in. Just come on I'm going to bang you on camera. For, and then you sell bring to the that penis Stop over. Yelling. I'm ready to go. I'm ready exactly, to go. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm... I, 
I don't, I don't think I would. I, because, you know, there's, there's a price. You have tag. to have boundary. Well, no, I think you have to have boundaries. I, even if we broke up, I don't think I would do it to have content with anybody else. You know, that's kind of our thing that we do this together and that's us together. And um, yeah, in a, in a way it's, you guys are connecting and it, and, and I think that's kind of cool. I mean, so because in, everybody has this taboo and I think there's way too many, um, uh, sexual taboos out there. People are like, this is how it's supposed okay. to be. You don't, you don't, you don't go anywhere different from that. And nowadays I think now what only fans is doing and what I think of the thing, it's, it's creating where it's not as much as a taboo anymore. You, it's yeah. okay to think about yeah. how you think that way, or it's okay to be attracted to that. It's okay to, to, to be nasty. Yeah. It's okay to be <laughs> nasty and, and you're not a bad person. You're not yeah. anything like that. And that wasn't really looked upon yeah, even Early like, yeah, on. with porn stuff, like, you know, even if you had porn free in the 2000s or, you know, 2010s, there was still a little bit of judgment, a little weird. Absolutely. If you got a little weird stuff, you know, um, there was judgment. But I think, you know, the more that content is available or the more things that um, OnlyFans, you know, pop up, we'll say pop up. Um, no pun intended. <laughs> no intended. Um, We've kind of lost that, though. Let's, let's just... <laughs> They're just going to So happen. do you not think that maybe the woke movement kind of almost created OnlyFans? No, I think it's the, no. the woke movement is the opposite of opposite. OnlyFans. You yeah. think so? Oh, Absolutely. No, they're, they're the cut and dry, this is what's supposed to be yeah. right, and this is what's decent. And they're, but the, we know the woke OnlyFans would have, wouldn't have been okay as he stomps over ago. someone else's conversation, <laughs> uh, ten or even fifteen minutes, or t- ten or fifteen uh, um, years ago, it wouldn't have been accepted the way it is today. Um, no, I don't think I. Well, no, I think it's I a generational think. thing. Yeah. It is generational. I think millennials, millennials, and Gen Z yes. are so hurting You're for right. cash that are, and I say this, and I don't mean it in a negative way, but like the morals are kind of gone. And like I said, I don't mean it in a negative way. I don't but even know if it's the morals. I think it's just the more um, accepting of people. Yeah, the, like okay, trans, like uh, transsexual people and, and gay people and uh, different people of different lifestyles. I think millennials have really brought that uh, to the public like that it's acceptable and the more that the baby boomers die off and the more millennials that you know come up yeah i think it's made it more acceptable to be different. I, I think kayla's point was that your your line moves because there's like some people just, yeah, just just to take this on a way g rated g level there's some people that, would, that well there was some people that would never deliver pizza it's too dangerous blah 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 and now they're out there doing doordash and stuff like that because they got to make their money so about, their, their line moves. What about Uber? Uber when we're young. Yeah. yeah. Don't get in a car. So we don't know people. Good, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Don't get in a car with strangers. Money, now we're going to call you. <laughs> if you were successfully financially successful, would you have still done this? No. Right. No, okay. No. So she. So Kayla has a point. It, it's it, with with the money aspect of it. You have a point with this that you're like, we have to do what we got to do to make money and everything. So she's got a point of what she's saying here. Now there's two points to that though. There's the point of because I like it. I do, like you said, the attention. I like the attention. I feel good about myself, too. If someone's willing to pay me $25 to see five pictures of me topless, that's a that's an ego booster. Holly, you know? char- Holly charges me 30 it's a, it's a, She charges me 20 so. <laughs> and I have to, like, prepay, and it's got to be on a credit card and everything. It's Just kidding, Holly. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I think that's a that's a big thing. So if I if I knew then what I know now and I had money, then maybe yeah, I, I might, you know, for that excitement or that um adrenaline rush. That adrenaline. You get a little dopamine well, each time ha- you get that happens in life, you know, your your situation takes you to a place you didn't think you'd go, and then all of a sudden you're like, I like it here. <laughs> yeah, know? it's so, a cool place to be. Yeah, exactly. So, so you're I will honestly say, uh, Lindsay, that you are the most comfortable I've seen since I've known you. And we're probably on 10, 12 years that I've known you now and yeah, everything else. I mean, 12. so I've known you quite a long time. And this is probably the most comfortable that I've seen you. And it, it's kind of refreshing. I Thank mean, you. and, and I, it's not just me. Dave, Mandy have said the same thing and everything else. They've all said, now the change in Lindsay has been kind of, cool. kind of remarkable. And so I just want to, I, I want to, and I think Rich probably has a lot to do with that. I mean, I mean, he's got to be able to be, like you said, supportive and everything. Well, else. he's taught me not to care okay. about what people think. I always was so concerned. Like, are you first... realizing now who your true friends are? I mean, just in the grand scheme of things, are you like surprised that some people said? I know we talked about earlier that your girlfriends were very supportive, but was there somebody that just out of the blue was like either 
hey, this was great, or you suck. I don't even want to have anything there to do one, with you. Right there now. was one person that is a, a married to a friend of mine that had a kind of a negative connotation to a uh, post response, trying to tell me that Facebook wasn't the way to go and trying to tell me how it was and uh, you need to pick who your audience is and who, what age range you need to have and, and don't promote to anybody else. And that's not, that's, that wasn't my belief. I believed the exact opposite. I, I don't think I should pigeonhole myself to a certain age group or a certain demographic. I think I should leave myself open to whoever's interested <laughs> in purchasing my content. I should promote to all. I agree. And, and not just a, a certain amount of people. And, and, you know, that was the girl that said Facebook is, is, not popular and, and millennials use other uh, social media sites. Only 20% of millennials well, use wait, this we site. got a millennial right here. Are, yeah, are, what do you feel yeah, about Facebook? I, I, yeah, that's a... Uh, I know something about Facebook. Sorry, I was listening, but what? No, it? no it's just that, that, that Facebook's basically for the older people. That Facebook's oh. uh, played out. Like yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's, a done, it's a done thing. It's yeah. like a MySpace. Do you really feel <laughs> that, though? Are yeah. you not... No, definitely. Facebook is more of an older generation kind of thing. Instagram, especially TikTok now. TikTok is more of the Gen Z and the millennial kind of thing, where now now that Facebook's getting phased out and doing all this stuff, a lot of the older generations are going there, but it's more... Well, and then also that's... I mean, I don't promote to a certain demographic, but... My demographic is older type men, men my age, maybe a little younger, but mostly older in their 50s. I'm 43. I think probably most of my, a lot of, which is funny, a lot of my subscribers are my friends, friends from high school. I had three ex-boyfriends on my OnlyFans. So it's people that know I me. can see where that, where that would come from. So, and, he interrupts and, one more time. No, oh. well, yeah, I, I, I'm, but I see what you're saying because if I see, I remember a girl in high school that I, I really was attracted to or whatever else, and I, you know, I didn't have a chance at her or whatever, and all of a sudden she's doing OnlyFans 20 years later. Yeah, I'm going to pull her up and I'm going to see, I'm going to see what she was doing. Well, I was always, the, you know, as you know, I'm the buddy. Like, I am the guy's friend that's a girl that they don't bang. <laughs> so maybe it's kind of that, it could be that fantasy of, Hey, I always wanted to bang this chick, and right. now I get to see her naked. Yeah. And I always wanted to see her naked twenty years ago, and you know now I can. Um, well, so maybe that that's it, you know. But the majority of the people that are my subscribers, I think, are, are people that know me and people that that have been my friends. Hmm. Well, and it's kind of hard with like content like that because Facebook doesn't allow it. There's a boundary or a very strict line with Facebook that they won't put a lot about that on. Where Reddit and Twitter X, whatever you want to call it. That's fair game. Like you can post whatever you want on there, but also who's using Twitter and Reddit and stuff like? I mean, it's so saturated with OnlyFans stuff with Twitter. Like that's what I read. That that's where you get your subscribers. And I didn't mention TikTok earlier. TikTok is another. That's probably my third highest uh, subscriber rate. Is is TikTok? Um, you know, I'll do a, a picture montage with some music and put my OnlyFans up there. Um, and I have gotten quite a few subscribers there. I For my first month, I only had 44 at one time. And I do a lot of promotions. I'll go on my Facebook and say, hey, for the next two hours, half off my subscription price or free subscriptions. And, you know, that's to bring them in. Subscription costs are not where you the bread and butter is. Right. Yeah. It's yeah, selling Rich your is content. Totally over there, yeah, so, yeah, it's selling your content. So um yeah. So I, I think you, you have to do things like that. You have to do the TikTok videos. You have to do promotions. I, I did a spin I see you have a spin the wheel here oh, on your yeah. table. <laughs> I did a spin the wheel the other day. If you buy five dollars worth of content, then your name's getting you know gets put in here and then online they have a little spin to win. And mm -hmm. if you pick the number, then that's what you win. Huh. You win like $25 worth of videos or something, you know? Cool. So, so Lindsay, I mean, we are extremely happy that you came on today. You got to stick around for one more segment because we got, but I just want to let you know, we, we want to have you back. We want to follow your career. We want to see how love this it. works. And if down the road, we can maybe have one of your, uh, somebody that's working for you. I think that would be great too, but I want to stick around. We got one more segment, but thank you so much. I think this was great. So thank, thank you. you. It's all about the SFS. Thank <laughs> you. It's time for war news. Jim, 
Adam, start us off with some warp news. Okay, What's going you know, on? I had a little trouble finding some warp news, though, that actually, I don't know, made me chuckle. It made me, this one's just kind of. Besides sick. what we just had on? <laughs> well, I, here we go. We're talking about Hugh. Hugh, the popular manatee at the Moat Marina Laboratory and Aquarium in Florida, died last April from a 5.7 inch rip in his colon. Oh, my God. Yeah. The rip, in, the rip was caused by high intensity sex. Hey, all right. Um, at 5:15 p.m. on April 29th, after a day of inappropriate behavior with the other manatee in the tank, Q was found lifeless at the bottom of the pool. He was later con- um, confirmed dead. He got fucked to death. <laughs> a, f- a fecal. A manatee. I've been near. I've been near there, but a manatee named Q. Never no, been close wait. to there. A manatee named Q. <laughs> yeah, this no, was a, this was a guy <laughs> manatee. Okay. <laughs> Um, so fe- the guy was oh, found, no. the guy manatee, the male manatee. The male was manatee found. was found with a 5.7 inch rip in his colon. Oh, no. Okay. Do you think he was murdered? He no. could have been. It could have been a manatee we, murder. Well, finish it. Dun, here. dun, dun. <laughs> dun, dun. A fecal sample collected from Hugh after the encounter confirmed the presence of fresh blood. Would, oh. would Why n- would they take a fecal matter? To, to find out what ripped his ass There's apart. There's some anal going on there. <laughs> It, no, it gets better. Oh, I can it? <laughs> With no other suspects, they determine that Hugh's brother, Buffett, was the perpetrator. Buffett. Buffett. Sweet home. <laughs> the Buffett. So, uh, uh, it's so, a battle. It's a battle. So, Hugh, the male no? manatee's okay. brother, Buffett. Assaulted him. Assaulted him in the ass and killed him. They That's no some big time family the shit. The manatees dude. have no boundaries. Yeah, well, apparently this is normal behavior with manatees, and this could happen in the wild or, or in captivity, but. Brothers do their brothers? I, I guess so. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> but damn, Buffett's got this giant schlong that he's, he took out his brother. <laughs> yeah, Buffett. That's, that's like he's swinging that shit around. He's like, don't fuck with me. This it's segment like, took this, way of a turn, is, and yeah. the only plans <laughs> one. Like, wow. It took me like probably 30 seconds just now to realize. <laughs> We're not talking about like manatees. <laughs> My only fans. We're talking like <laughs> walrus. The yeah, walrus yeah no, I was thinking about like a stingray. So, yeah, like I'm just me too. About... When I when I first read it, I what are the it's called Skates? fish? Although the aquarium called um called itself a gold standard of animal health and well being, it vowed to redouble their efforts to ensure animal care and operations meet or exceed the existing and evolving policies of the guidelines. Of the regulatory, uh, basically, we're gonna say you're not gonna get raped by your brother. We're gonna do you know, <laughs> take take the guy out for a night. You know, get him get him some action so wow. he's not going after his little brother. You know, if that's the gold standard, <laughs> I want the platinum. Yeah, you know no, what I'm saying? Shit. <laughs> so that was my weird news, Mark. Oh, what do God. you have? So. Wait, 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 wait. Kayla, did I you? found it's manta ray. Manta ray. There we go. That's oh, what manta I was ray. thinking. <laughs> okay. If there was only something we could look up that would tell us what it is. So. Jim, if we are not anything on this show, we are informative, right? <laughs> we, oh, that's we, sure. We, we are just, we, we just pass knowledge along to people. So I, I am going to. I tell everyone about right the now. show how informative we are. Your we, IQ may drop a point or two. <laughs> it, it's amazing. So, A, did any of you guys know that there is a pelvic floor expert? Um, uh, it's called a gyne- gynecologist. No, oh, no. oh, hey, but no. So it's. It's actually a pelvic floor expert actually says that she has a video that shows that there's actually a way to achieving the perfect poo or shit. The perfect wow. way to shit. Yes. <laughs> now, you think it's simple. You think you just sit on the toilet and you do your business. No, so no this, is a, this is a pelvic <laughs> floor the expert toilet. is explaining. This is the, this is she, the highbrow show. She uploaded this to TikTok. So you guys can actually pull this up. If you put in the perfect poo, you can pull this up. It's a pelvic floor psychotherapist who goes by George. She is demonstrating <laughs> on a chair of a toilet seat. She has showcased the actions of taking the perfect dump while adding captions, helping viewers along the way. To start. Feet up on a squatty potty. I knew it. So I knew we were going the, here. Yeah, well, yeah. I knew we were going squatty here. Squatty I got potty, squatty potty. Okay? Put, your, put your heels up on the toilet seat exactly. if you need. You got I got you. you. I got you. Then she's told viewers to relax their belly while lengthening their pelvic floor. Okay. All right. Okay. Do we all understand where we're at? Are you guys in a, in a very happy space? 
spot, you know, well, you're, you know. Something. I'm imagining you squatting on a squat. Following I'm that, not now they use the poo goers, I, I, you know, are encouraged to undertake pelvic circles where they feel and create the urge to go yeah. more often. <laughs> And with their Isn't business, this common knowledge? if they stand up and down, <laughs> I didn't know. But apparently, if you stand up and down, you have to go quicker, and you got to do what you got to do. So wait, I have to do Catholic aerobics? So <laughs> shit, you correctly? do. You have to stand up, sit down, stand up, that, sit down. That's oh, what you got to do. Need to go. <laughs> now, essentially, the perfect poo is when you always respond to that when you're standing up and down, and that is the perfect poo time. Wait, wait, now, wait what wait, time wait. is it? Can we, oh, I just have a question. Go ahead. Now, as far as the definition of a perfect poo, now is it the perfect size? Is it the perfect it, amount I, of time? We haven't gotten into that, but is we it, have. Like, let's, if we're going to talk a about perfect length? poos, I mean, we might as well elaborate. Length is good. A length is pretty good. you right. got to have a length one. So, in I'm another way. Just asking. Just sorry. The perfect experience? No. Right. I, no, All she's right. just saying the, this is where you're going to. Overall, gonna, I, guess. Right, so the, the overall I, I think perfect. what we're saying, the best. Po- uh, position for the body to, to poo. Okay. The act of pooing. Sometimes I need to get And the then she goes on to say everything is also based on the number of wipes you're doing on the toilet. When you're wiping more than two or three times, this is fecal smearing. It's not. Wow. It's, it, so <laughs> it's essential. Hey, George, you're Captain Obvious. When too much, <laughs> I know, fecal matter. Stays at the entrance of the anus. You haven't finished your poo. Well, no shit, Sherlock. No I mean, I shit. Mean, I mean, no, apparently. Are you kidding? Hey, apparently there is shit. I mean, this. <laughs> she wrote an article on this. Groupie's raising her hand. Do you have a question over there, Groupie? Do you have a question? She's okay, praising so, God. <laughs> so apparently, not just Mr. Obvious here. If you have a little poo left on the entrance, you're you're not done. You gotta it. it, it <laughs> Why did know. Mark just spend 20 minutes of my life telling me how to take I a know, shit? Yeah, I this, know. This show so, really so this took is a turn. I ended on this. This is how she says you should have the perfect poo, okay? You start by squeezing the anus 20%, then 50%, then 80%. With your fingers? Then with your 100%. Yeah. No, it's With someone fingers, else's hand? It's like, a ke- it's like a Kegel for an anus. Yeah, the, the sphincter. Right, you you I hate you, those. you do the sphincter. <laughs> you were worried about going too far with the OnlyFans segment, <laughs> yeah. really? You know what? We just like... we have no boundaries. <laughs> I'm just telling you, this is I, actual. I, this is people were reading this. She she did an article. I was on. worried about the integrity of this show. <laughs> and apparently, that is what's going to cause less weakness from your exterior. All right, so your homework, over your, the next, your, posterior. <laughs> your homework over the next two weeks is to try her method and inform us oh next my week. Oh, God. Are you kidding me? That ain't yeah, we want, no, we want you to have the perfect poo. I don't know. If with, based on that, I don't know if I want to have the perfect poo. Oh, my perfect poo is two cups of coffee and yeah. freaking going upstairs and letting loose. Man, uh, you insane. know what? So, Go out into the middle of the woods and squat. That, Ew. That's, that's the, not fun. No, that's, no. The, that's the imperfect poo. Yeah, that, no. is, that is the imperfect I will poo. T- I will tell you in a, in a medical professional uh, co- cooperate. Co- 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 yeah, co- co- cooperate. Coloscomy. Co- 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 um, <laughs> that is a great way to poo. Just nothing. Just what's the perfect. I don't know. I had a good. All right. Well, this is a don't great know. episode. I don't know how things. to end the show better than right. Well, I think I think we've crescendoed. It. So like, yeah. it's all downhill from here. Lindsay, all right. thank you Lindsay, so real, much real quick, coming. just give us your your uh, Facebook and OnlyFans page. All right. Quick. So my OnlyFans is I love Lindsbians. I L O V E L I N D S B I A N S. I love Lindsbians, and my Facebook is Lindsay Only. Dash fans. All right. Thanks so much for having me on, you guys. Oh, a pleasure. Thank you for coming. It was You're very, welcome. very informative. Mark, you anything else? No, guys. Thank you so much. We appreciate everything. Get me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you uh, join our Facebook group at uh, ourworldflow.com. Check out our, uh, we, we're starting to do TikTok. We're working on that. Until then. Um, again, thanks for joining us. And uh, like and follow. And share it. Really, thanks a lot. Man.